Good old times to our mortals out there, and welcome back to Infinity Complex Palace of the Immortals. I am Chris. I'm uh, Leah. And we are back with more Lawn Mowing Simulator. Uh, last time we left off, I had made almost three grand. I was almost up to, I was up to almost three grand. <clears throat> I was going to go ahead and spend some of that money to upgrade one of my lawn mowers at the very least. So I'm going to take nice. my Styga Estate 2084H and upgrade it to the Styga Tornado 6108HW. The downside is, is that this is a side discharge system and I don't know how side discharge systems work. So I'm going to have to test drive it to okay. figure out how the fuck it side works. discharge works because do that mean I have to clean up the grass? Probably. And do that mean that take much work? Because that would be irritating. Yeah, not much of an upgrade if it makes more work for It's you. got a mulch plate, which means I can make the grass mulch, and then I won't leave anything behind at all unless I overload my engine. Mm. But I don't want to buy a mulch plate if I don't need a mulch plate. Oh, of course the test drive is going to be wet. It looks so tiny. You see that circle there on the outside? Right here where these two balls are? Yeah. That rounded plate? That's the outer part of the blade, basically. This whole, I see. So I, I've got, this is 108 centimeters. It's like much bigger than the last one I had. Okay, it just looks small. Yeah. What's the cut height? Six centimeters? Oh yeah, that's what it does. Babe. Oh yeah, and then you gotta pick up the grass. Hell no. Oh yeah, no way. <clears throat> okay, so we're not buying that? It's nice that they let you test drive them first. Yeah, hell no. I'm buying that with a mulch plate. You wanna see how the mulching one works? Cause I got another one I can test with the mulcher. This one mulches. It leaves nothing behind. Nice. I'm just gonna upgrade to this one and buy the mulch plate for it. Twenty-five bucks. Not bad. Hell yeah, it was totally worth it to do that. It cost me fucking nothing, basically. Bam! Now it's a mulch plate. Let's frickin' go! Well, I can't test it now, unfortunately. Well, that's fine. Now, now you can take a job, right? I can't, unfortunately, do another part exchange on this one. But that's okay. So, now I need to figure out which contract to do. That's the one I just did. I am not doing it again. This one? Hey, you. Imogen. Yeah. You get that one. And you get the small tractor. Have fun with that one. No, I'm kidding. I'll give you the big one because it makes more sense. And you'll get more money for doing it better and faster. So I will take the regular small collector and I will do a tiny job at a tiny place done that one a few times. I may not have done this one as many times. That one looks pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. This is the right one, right? Yeah. I should be able to upgrade the mower after this one. So... No matter what, I'm gonna be because I'm gonna make thirteen thirty off of the job that Emogen's on. 
I had to dump like six fucking times with the collector and ran out of fuel almost. Oh man, that sucks. That job was harsh. Well, there's the bigger thing. Oh yeah, it's got a mold plate, so you don't even have to worry about collecting now. Yeah, she should do be able to just brrr and not have to worry about it and go through it. Me, I've still got to collect. But I'm not worried about that, because I'm going to get an upgrade to the mulch plate, and then it shouldn't be an issue. Overloading the engine is the problem. Wet grass can make it harder, but the paddock's grass is like 22 centimeters tall, and they want it down to like 6. Damn. And that kind of grass cutting on a lawnmower is rough. Three objects. This is the smallest amount of objects I've seen. Is that a spoon? It looks like a ladle, yeah. Like a giant ladle. Tennis ball. There I haven't found any valuables yet. You can find valuables? Yeah, there are valuable items, and they are uh, apparently like, they're rare items that you return to the owners for big money and RP boost. My grass is six and a half, so I will reduce to six, because six and a half is not an actual option. Blades have to go over it. Whoa, my be. Kind of accidentally floored it. Yeah. This is a wonky, uh, flower bed? Like a snake. Yeah, I know. I think I hit the bike. Chirping in rain. No, you normally do not. You think it'd be more of a like gentle rain sound. Maybe we should write into the makers of this and be like, hey. Well, there's a few things that I would like about the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sick and tired of all these simulator games coming out and being like, yeah, we're gonna give you this game that's awesome and cool, but it's completely realistic. Everything about it is realistic. You know what I fucking want? I want to paint my lawnmower. I want to put flames on it because the flames make it go faster. Yeah, that'd be cool. Only well, not completely realistic. It could have to do a dinosaur thing. Right? You give us a dino safari, but we can't paint our tractors to look like shit. Come on. What about a tractor that, or what about a lawnmower that looks like a velociraptor? Velociraptor. Velociraptor. If you ever get the DLC, that's going to be an episode title. Oh, that was a collision. Collision, collision. I'm not too worried about it, actually. Collisions don't do a lot of damage and don't cost a lot of money. Okay. Woo, too fast that's there. Makes it I know. Thankfully, now you're going to be pretty far away from the bushes when you do your next move. Trying to clean it up a bit so it's not as jagged. That. 
I'll fix any strips, stripes, patches, and bits I have to fix. Couldn't think of another word that started with S for some reason. Strip spots, strip stripes, strips, stripes, spots, and stains. Sounds like a tailor, I don't know, or tailor slash uh, dry cleaner. Yes. There you go. We'll take care of your strips, spots, stripes, and stains. And suits. Tailoring today. It's like it was a like it was a laundromat service that's now got tailoring services. Uh -huh. Honestly, though, or a dry cleaner. It makes sense. That would be a great business, uh, you know, a great business model. Yeah, especially if they're like. Especially if you've got the drop off and clean, right? Yeah. Drop off and clean the lux, you know what I mean? You know? They're, they're like,